that ISIS was killing, shooting the kids and the uh, people, and they are laying, laying them on the ground, and they bring tractors that they walk over them. This is a program that I want to issue an alarm to each one of you. I think that uh, we are entering into an extraordinarily dangerous time in our world. I want to talk about some of the things that are happening, highlight what's going on in Iraq, also talk about the Ukraine, and then I want people to literally pray for this world we're in. Well, these people, ISIS, they're beheading children. They're burying people alive. But those terrorists in Iraq won't stop them. They have a message for America, and they say, we're going to be in Washington. Terry? Well, now the U.S. is finally sending arms to the Kurds who've been fighting against the terrorists. We have two stories from CBN News, starting with Chris Mitchell in Erbil, the capital of Kurdistan. Over this past week, the army of ISIS swallowed up parts of Iraq like a darkness. In just one day, tens of thousands of Christians fled villages like Karakush and Bartilla, just about 25 miles away. Most have come here to Erbil with nothing more than the clothes on their back. They take everything from the house, from the store, everything. And they take like a machine, everything, because they are Christian. Just the name Christian. They hate Christian especially. We don't know why. It was leave or die. They say if anyone don't become like kill it. Kill it. Each one, from baby and uh, woman, one, old man. We don't have anything here. They bombed the churches and already took our houses. We have nothing here. No money, no ID, no travel documents. What's happening now to the Christians, to the Yazidis, to the minorities, and like in the last couple of days, to the, mostly to the Christians, is it's a genocide. What's happening is what happened 200 years ago with the Jews. Dr. Ahmed hears stories of the barbarism of ISIS. That ISIS was killing, shooting the kids and the people, and they are laying, laying them on the ground, and they bring tractors that they walk over them in the front of their families. They take women out of their houses. So let's say every each family that they have three, three daughters, they, they would take one. In the wake of the ISIS advance, thousands of ethnic Yazidis escaped to a mountain outside the town of Sinjar, while these Christians found shelter at this Catholic compound in Erbil. A few weeks ago, these families fled when ISIS was a of Christians. ISIS gave them an ultimatum. They gave us four choices, either convert to Islam, or paying tax, or leaving the city, or the sword. They are using the sword to cut off hand, and also beheading others. So I don't think this is the behavior of human beings, but wild animals do that. ISIS looted their properties and left them destitute. They took this woman's dentures, wedding ring, and documents. They took everything. We asked them, please give us something to show that we owned our car, our home. They said, here you have nothing. ISIS searched the home of one Christian in Mosul and discovered these two New Testaments, one with a camouflage on the cover and the other with an American flag inside. They accused them of being both a missionary and a spy. ISIS put his name on a list. He told his story, but asked us to hide his identity. Hey, hey, stop, get back. You are, you are a Christian. The terrorist uh, told me we will kill you. Sometimes the pressure is overwhelming. Please save me from the terrorist. Forgive them, forgive them, because they didn't know what they were, what they act. Even though these Christians are the original people of the region, many simply want to leave. They're pleading for the U.S., the U.N., and Pope Francis to help. We are asking the responsible states of the international community to come and look and see how all the people are living here. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Erbil, Kurdistan.